Hello everyone, it's me Arif and today we have a long term review for the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G. So I bought it back in March 2021 and I have been using it around 4-5 to five months. It has been and still is my personal device. I'll try my best to review it as much as possible. However, if there is something you want to know further, please let me know in the comments below. Alright, so let's begin with the built-in design. Firstly, the back is made of plastic, which is a mixture of plastic and glass. So it has a glass feel and of it's matte. So I think it looks very nice overall. Uh, however, the sides are metal and specifically it's aluminium, I believe, or aluminium. Uh, and in front of the display, we have unspecified Gorilla Glass. Um, I'm not sure which one it is, therefore it's unspecified. It hasn't been mentioned officially anywhere. However, in JSON Marina, it's uh, mentioned something like Gorilla Glass 3. Um, I would still recommend you using a screen protector like me. I prefer matte screen protectors because it avoids sunlight and other glare effects on the screen overall. Um, during the, my usage, I think it was quite sturdy and it is quite sturdy. And it's uh, very heavy. The phone overall has a very heavy feeling. Um, it weighs around, I believe, 190 grams or something. And um, it's heavy with and without a case. So with a case, it's quite heavier. But without a case, obviously, it's way more lighter. However, until now, there has been no scratches on the body, except for slight scratch on the camera lens. I believe you have seen that in the intro. I have traveled with it and I have never faced any issues regarding its build. I'm quite happy with the overall build and design. There are many other colors to choose from, but I'm quite attracted to the red color here. I also like the golden color over here, as you can see, uh, but it wasn't available in my region. Each of the color has their metal trim the same as their back color. So it looks quite good. It has an overall aesthetic feeling. And um, instead of the simple silver rings, uh, silver trims, I think this has an overall good look. Uh, for the device itself next up the cpu here is snapdragon 865 5g chipset and my variant is 6 gb ram and 128 gb ufs 3.1 storage there are many other variant as well anyhow for my heavy personal usage it's smooth sailing and trust me after using a dozen of devices i still support qualcomm and it is the best of the bunch with thermals and the constant speed and yada 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 Anyhow, for the games, I have played a lot of games in this device. Uh, this includes the Call of Duty, PUBG, Free Fire, Asphalt 8 and 9, Minecraft, RFS, and many other. Most games run at 60 FPS log, and few of them such as Alto, uh, the Alto Odyssey and the sequel, it runs at 120 FPS. This being a flagship device and processor, it's supposed to run the game smoothly, but sometimes Samsung software causes a lot of issues. Overall, it was a great experience and it is also a great experience with gaming, but I think the 6GB RAM from my side is quite lacking and it requires further optimization from Samsung. The storage in this device is UFS 3.1 and I have seen most people do not care about this. However, I can't emphasize further that your storage is one of the crucial element you need to keep in mind before buying a device. The better the storage, like the technology, the faster your device and the smoother it will run just like iPhones from years ago. It's stated in the settings that it has around 4370 mAh. Uh, don't follow the marketing gimmick which says around 4500. There is 130 mAh lower over here. Um, so it lasts me around 7 to 8 hours daily, which is enough for my daily use. I just have to charge it once a day around 9 to 10 p.m. unless I'm traveling, uh, where I have to charge it around evening. My normal days does not include heavy usage uh, it's most often consists of note taking some reading with watching a lot of videos however if i start to use it heavily i was able to kill the device within five hours for me that's a great battery life considering the devices i have used previously my usage includes programming watching videos listening to music drawing writing notes surfing through the apps navigation and editing videos for social media i'll leave the instagram link down below so I guess this will be a perfect kind of device for every types of users. I always had the Bluetooth, GPS, direct share, call on other devices and Wi-Fi on mainly for being able to be connected with my other devices like link with Windows, you know. I wanted you guys to know that I use Bixby routines a lot. As you can see here, there are quite a lot of automations going on throughout the day, which helps me save my battery and my overall 
uh, productiveness it helps me be much more productive so i'll try my best to make a dedicated video on that when possible so for the display it's a super amulet with either 60 or 120 hz it ain't adaptive here but it is samsung's amulet and i have nothing to complain here it looks very good with saturated colors and you can customize it if required there are very good viewing angles as well and it has a good visibility during daylight after all it is meant to be a flagship killer the speakers are amazing here they're tuned by dolby atmos and they sound fantastic however it isn't much comparable to my tab a7 which is a replacement for my bluetooth speaker um, you can check that video i'll link it below Anyhow, the FE sounds louder and it has both the earpiece and the bottom speaker working in stereo. It enables them with better clarity and it has a better bass as well as loudness. Not much. I would have preferred it to go way louder when required. However, here's a speaker test. Take a look and let me know. Here we have a 12 megapixel primary rear shooter along with a 8 megapixel telephoto and 123 degree 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. OIS is only present on the primary and the telephoto camera. We can record videos up to 4K 60 FPS. However, you can only use the wide angle in 30 FPS. Here are a few camera samples. Take a look and let me know what do you think of it. In front we have a 32 megapixel camera and it takes 12 megapixel shot using pixel binding technology. I think the 12 megapixel shot looks exactly the same as the 32 megapixel. I do not see any details. It could be maybe due to the software but that's what I have seen. Uh, here are a few of the samples to take a look and let me know what you think about those. Well, after recording this video, I have found out that there are a lot of things that I need to speak about and the video will be way too long for a review. Therefore, I'd like to make them in a short segments, which you can check them in my channel. I'll link them down below. That's it from me. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe. Bye bye.